Let's fast forward to the main event segment with the Shield having to take on eleven people at once. That was a bit disappointing. When the, was I the only one that was disappointed when uh, when the Shield came out? They had a brief silence, and then Del Rio's music hit. I was pissed off like they didn't like it was like it was like that time when they had like Randy Orton and Cena versus like the whole Raw roster. Yeah, it was that's what so I was stupid. Too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be Kane and like. To another tag team. I like was thinking the Ascension, three. honestly. I, thought I saw you tweet that. I was like, maybe. Like, that could that be actually sense. good. But I think but. it wouldn't make sense because they still have the titles, which Paige still Paisley, does have. yeah. But that's stupid, too. But yeah. um, I don't know. I think it was stupid how they brought all these crappy, like, mostly mid-card heels out. 3MB sucks. Rusev served no Rusev came out and, like. Why was he out there? Because he's a heel. No, I know, but. But it looks stupid because he just comes out and it's supposed to be, like, this big monster heel. Yeah. And, like. You got dominated. Dean Ambrose beat him up. Like, come <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was 11 terrible. on 3. Yeah. The, like, He's the match, terrible. when there was one on one, it wasn't actually that bad. But once, obviously, like, they all like jumped on him. It was pretty stupid. But Ryback got speared out of his boots. I'm glad that by Roman last Reigns. Time, though. Yeah, that was, that was nice. good. And then Dean Ambrose jumped through the middle rope and got people out. And then Seth Rollins had the over the yeah. top front flip on him. And money is baby. Faces. That was great. And then. Mm-hmm. Um, they all came in and beat the living crap out of them, and then eventually Evolution came out. Of course, let's get right to that. Randy Orton, Batista, Triple H coming out, just not only together, but with the Evolution music. And I think the biggest complaint, and of anyone coming out of this show, is that the crowd was terrible. Yeah. I didn't notice it before this segment. The, everything before this, they were okay. They, it's not like they were silent, yeah. but they were like mediocre, especially... <laughs> Anything compared to the post-Mania Raw shows is always going to be bad. Yeah. This is like, it was an okay crowd until this point. I think they should have given this a lot bigger of a pop than they did. They didn't even pop at all. It was ridiculous. So they come out, they destroy the shield, end of the show. I thought it was a great ending, and it builds up Evolution versus, versus the shield. shield. So, Michael, get to you real quick. Um, your thoughts on the lack of pop from the god-awful Alabama crowd last night and um, your expectations for shield versus Evolution at Extreme Rules. Alabama awful crowd is right. If I was at that Raw last night and I heard Evolution's music go off, you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know what the sound was across the stadium. It would have been so loud, it would have been crazy. You wouldn't be talking to you, us right now because you would have lost your voice. Absolutely, just like my WrestleMania voice. Me and RJ's voice were gone. <laughs> Seriously. Shot at Mania. Only two kids who yelled when Lesnar won. Seriously. <laughs> but... It's it's just the concept of evolution coming back after how many years and you don't even have one crowd pop. Even even RVD came back and Money in the <laughs> Bank last year with a bigger pop. It was ridiculous. That like Ross didn't even go back to Alabama exactly. after that awful performance out of the crowd. <laughs> if that was in like a Madison Square Garden or like Place a big nuts. even Boston week. or Providence, that would have Oh, my God. You don't even understand. Evolution's music hitting. Come on. Not one person standing <laughs> up. I guarantee you half the fans there didn't even know what the music was. They weren't even booing. That was, the, that was the worst part. When when they were beating up on the shield, they didn't even boo. I hate Batista, though, so I'm just going to say that now. That's you, the reason I don't care Evolution back, because I hate Batista. But um, wouldn't you have booed, though, if you hate Batista? I would have been happy, though, because I like the Evolution, though. So. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I grew up watching Evolution, so... so yeah, let, let's get your thoughts on yeah. this. Yeah, I like that Evolution's bad, but they need to get Flair back, too, to make it, like... They need Flair to make it, like, the real Evolution. I know a lot of people have been saying that. I understand that. But how do you think they could possibly get him booed? I know he was heel on TNA, but he was crazy in TNA. Like, the, he... As a manager. you got to get him exactly. back as a manager. He's no, yeah, not going to rebel. He's not going to re- wrestle, no, obviously. Yeah. He's not wrestling. But, like... Even, As a heel, he's even when Evolution was a heel back in the day, they were still like, obviously they still got a pop from the crowd. You had four of the best stars at the time. You had Orton with the IC belt taken out fully, and then you had uh, Batista and Rick, which was a perfect tag they team. The world tag and then you had the guys. game, game with the Sludgehammer, taking out Goldberg, Goldberg. taking out Steiner. It was awesome. Steiner. And now it's going to be Evolution against the Shield. When I saw Evolution come out last night, I was like, this wasn't really, like, properly put together, you know what I mean? I feel like they just chucked on the music if they walk out there and be Evolution. The old Evolution would have came out a lot different. Maybe Triple H and a... I know he was wearing, like, his button-up shirt, but back in the and day he would have sunglasses on, the straight, <laughs> long hair. It's just different. It's, it's a lot different. 
it's not like, like DX was the same pretty much. They were just older when they came back. I feel like everyone's just a lot different now. Yeah. Like Orton and Batista were a lot younger too. And Triple H used to be a badass heel too with yeah. the long, long blonde hair with the sunglasses. You like, still see shades of that though, that attack on Brian a couple weeks ago. Yeah, but it's still awesome. it's not the same. When he had to Arge, sh- um, Once Arge, he shaved his head, he lost hair. it. Bleach blonde hair. Sunglasses, him flare. Oh my god! Maui Jim sunglasses and a six thousand dollars suit. Exactly. They used to be. The, they used to be the best. And then I feel like this is a recycled version of the Evolution, pretty much. I hear you. I hear you. But I do like the fact that we are getting Shield versus Evolution at Extreme Rules. I the, do like that. The too. modern day Evolution versus Evolution itself yeah. at Extreme Rules it should be awesome. I have no problem at all with that main eventing the show over mm-hmm. the presumable match of Brian versus Kane. Because when CM Punk was champion and he was getting not not getting the main event, Cena was in pointless. He main evented the show with freaking John Laurinaitis. Perfect. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hate CM Punk. Good. But going going back to the original point, I think it's fine that they're doing the six man tag team match in the main event of Extreme Rules. That's just what I'm assuming. But uh, should be great though. I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, Brian was not on Raw last night. I think his presence was certainly felt. And um, he will be back next week. He was on his honeymoon this week with Brie Bella after getting married to her on Friday. Got to conceive that marriage. Exactly. So congratulations. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, what role would Daniel Bryan have would have had last night? They would have. They would have changed the plans. They would have exactly. changed the plans or something. Yeah. They probably Kane would have shown up and beat up Bryan or something. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They just changed the show because they knew he wasn't going to be there. Like that's just terrible. Everybody knows that he's not going to drop the belt to Kane. So everybody's gonna watch the match because they love Daniel Bryan. But if imagine if they made Kane win, no, how just would awful never, that would be. It would, would never happen. No. Yeah. Like right, people yep. would have more of a question if they had Cesaro go against him for the belt. That's coming. that would be a more entertaining match. That's coming. We talked about that last week. Cesaro Bryan is definitely coming at some point. Yeah, I could see Cesar, uh, Brian and Wyatt before that, but... Yeah, for the title. They had I their think match it'd be stupid, Rumble though, because awesome. they already fought a couple times. They but... did, but Bryan won clean, though. No, so like, I... Bray Wyatt won clean at Royal Rumble. That's what I said. Did I just say Bryan? Bryan, yeah. I'm sorry. I, think, I just said Bryan, but... Uh, <laughs> Bryan, yeah, said both Bryan. of them. Yeah, their love child. But <laughs> <laughs> Bray Wyatt beat Bryan clean at yep. the Rumble, so that, that gives him a title shot, yep. you know, in, in essence. But even still, though, I look forward to that. 